Yo, what's going on guys? Stickman here, and just when you thought Sonic X Shadow Generation's Dark Beginnings was over, you thought wrong, because they combined episodes 1, 2, and 3 all into one big video, and initially when I saw the notification pop up on my phone, I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. And then I got a message from my friend saying, did you see the bonus ending? I was like, what? Bonus ending? What are you, what are you talking about? Then I went to go back and check the notification, and I realized <laughs> that the title literally says bonus ending at the end, and I was like, oh, well dang, now I gotta watch this. So without further ado, guys, let's take a look. Let's see what they added. I'm probably gonna be watching most of this on my own, and whenever I see anything new, I'll let you know. Oh, that's cool. Now it says three-part prologue animation. Cool. I lied, bro. We ain't just looking at the new stuff. Look at this, bro. Just, ah, oh, man. Man. This fight always gets me so hyped. I just love how clear it is. Like, all the shots just tick. You know, you just hear that punch, you know? The animation is so fluid, crisp. Sonic fans, bro, we got blessed with this raw animation right here. All right, so I'm curious to see if they're going to transition into episode two. Oh, they did. Oh, that was clean. That was so clean. Man, this version of Maria, like, the emotional weight. Every word she says carries. It just hits, you know? It really sucks that she is going to die. But oh well. Shadow breaks through. Does a sick pose. Sonic movie eyes with the electricity. Samurai in the way. Does some cool sick flips. Stunts on him. Throws the sword into him. And into the tower, baby! Let's see the episode 3 transition. Oh, that one wasn't as clean, but... I mean, I guess it makes sense. Whew, this scene, man... It just gets better and better every time. Like, it's so heavy. Man. What an incredible year to be a Shadow fan, man. I've never seen the character done this right in so many years. It has been far too long. Alright, let's see what we got. Hopefully we get a really cool looking bonus scene that isn't like two seconds long. Okay. Here we go. What? Have I been clickbaited by Sega? I thought you guys said there was a bonus scene. Oh wait, there's even more. Okay, let's wait it out. All right, here we go. Ooh, the arc. Oh, Black Doom! Oh, come on, man. There's no way it's literally exactly what I said. Oh. What was the point of that, man? I guess it just lets us know that Black Doom is in fact on the Ark and responsible for manipulating Shadow's memories, I think. Let me go back. Let's do that again. Okay. So, Black Doom is on the Ark. Alright. Cool. I see a lot of smoke in the background. He's reawakened. Is he hooked up to something? I see a lot of wires. Yo, I have so many questions. What is going on with this? What is going on? Now I'm really curious to know how this game's gonna start. Because we know the Space Colony arc is going to be the first level in Sonic X Shadow Gens, but... I wonder if it's literally just gonna throw you right in there? Or if we're gonna get some expository intro cutscene with Black Doom first? Leading towards the game just starts right away and your objective is to find Black Doom? I can't really even make out anything. It's just like a quick teaser. I... I really don't know. I think that flash of light is definitely Shadow on the rocket ship. I don't know. Either way, makes sense. Black Doom would be on the Ark. I mean... I mean, Shadow did say he has reason to believe that the Black Arms have returned. So, yeah. One thing I'm really not sure about yet is how exactly does Black Doom come back? Because I know for a fact he died at the end of Shadow the Hedgehog. I think, honestly, it's been forever since I've been through all those playable endings. I, I hope I'm right. But 
My only guess would be that the time eater pulled him out from his time right before he was about to die and brought him into the present. Just like all the other bosses in Sonic Generations, I don't know. That's probably it. I mean, this is going to sound like a stretch, but like even the smoke around Black Doom is purplish and it kind of reminds me of like the purple aura, I guess, that the Time Eater emits. So maybe it is showing the Time Eater bringing him back right then and there, but why is he hooked up to wires? Hold on. If you turn up the brightness, you can see that it might just be his alien goop, like, you know, what Shadow has. It, wait, are those his Doom Wings? I'm really excited, man. Oh my god, dude. What day is it today? October 15th. We have exactly seven days now. Seven days until the game's in our hands. Bro. Let me know in the comments what you think this means, why they put this here, what this teaser could be potentially hinting at. Before we end the video, I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. So we now have footage of all three of the bonus skins in Sonic X Shadow Generations in-game. And this isn't a spoiler, okay? This was tweeted out by the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter account. So if you guys don't wanna see it, feel free to click off the video now. But for those that do, let's go. Here's Legacy Sonic from Sonic Adventure 1 on the Dreamcast. And he looks freaking sick, dude. It looks literally just like you know, a Dreamcast Sonic mod for Sonic Generations, which is pretty funny. Um, no mouth animation, no no eye animation. It's just like a little subtle wink. It's not even really like a wink. It's more like an eye twitch, but it's pretty cool. The only thing I really have a gripe with would be the, uh, the legs. So whenever he jumps, you'll notice right here. I think this is an issue with like all the gens mods too, but like right there, <laughs> you can see his like leg pop out from his shoe and it looks really, really strange. So Sonic Team, I doubt you're watching this video, but if you are, please patch that. Like, cause like that, you know, it just, it just looks weird. You know, it looks pretty weird, but it's cool that they animated the thumb. That's, that's nice. That's cool. But yeah, really awesome stuff. Let's take a look at the next skin. So this one was tweeted out more recently, but it's pretty much Sonic Jam Sonic for classic Sonic and take a look. Oh, dude, that looks so good. I'm never switching to the classic Sonic regular base model ever again, dude. This looks amazing. I have no gripes with this. Zero. None. Okay, well, maybe, maybe one. Maybe his face could use a little bit of animating, but other than that, looks great. Once again, it's pretty much what you would expect. Feels like if you, like, modded in Jam Sonic into... Sonic gens, but yeah, man, this looks sick. I can't even be mad. This looks amazing. All right, let's move on to the final skin, which I'm pretty excited about. Get ready for Terios. All right, so this, guys, I would have never even found out about it if I didn't have notifications turned on for the official Sonic Twitter account, because I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm staying off Twitter as much as possible. Like, I'm pretty much completely off that platform. I haven't been on there since, like, I don't know, a couple days now. I'm just getting ready for Sonic X Shadow Gens. I don't want this game to be spoiled at all. So highly recommend if you guys don't want to see any spoilers, get off Twitter. And honestly, even if you don't mind spoilers, just, just get off Twitter anyways, dude. It's one of the worst platforms of all time. It, it freaking sucks. But rant aside, take a look at Terios. Oh, that looks so sick, bro. Look at him. It's so funny. It's like seeing an animated OC. But like not even like the forces OCs, like literally like classic back in the day, early 2000s OCs. This is amazing. It's so funny to see this. Looks awesome though. Look at the way his quills like move as well. It's really, really sick. Look at that. He has like knuckles as like quills kind of, but he still has like Sonic's face. You see, this is the type of character that I think if that was initially going to be Sonic in SA2, yeah, it makes sense confusing this guy with Sonic. At nighttime, I could see them making that confusion. Oh, the scar too, I just realized he has that scar. He's just as muscular as he looked in the, uh, in the, you know, all the concept art we've seen. It's 
cool. Look at his boots too. Yo, I can't wait to try out the skin. I heard that this skin isn't just cosmetic. I don't know how that's gonna work, but you better pre-order the digital deluxe version because it seems like this skin is gonna be a lot more than meets the eye. But yeah, guys, that's all for the news today. Honestly, um, I don't really know if I'm gonna be making any more Shadow Gens content up until the game launches. I've got a couple more Sonic Gens videos planned. Hopefully I can squeeze those out right before the game launches, but we'll see. We'll see how tight the schedule gets. I'm also working on my second channel. Be sure to check that out, Stick FPS Guides, because I'm gonna be getting ready for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 over there, guys. It's gonna be incredible. I can't wait for that game as well. Dude, there's two really, really good games that are coming out so close together, dude. I have no idea how I'm gonna make guides for both of these games, but honestly, I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you for watching this video. Shout out to Sonic Heroes 54, Azora, Shadow Tart, Rewind Plays, Harry Short, James, and Tails the Fox. If you'd like to become a channel member, be sure to hit that join button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.